Welcome to another episode of the Sarah Scoop Show. I'm your host, Sarah Ruhlman, here to give you the scoop. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Sarah Scoop Show. We had tons of questions. You have lots of people that want to know about your life. What is that like to have such a whirlwind happen to you from Love is Blind? You know, and it was kind of crazy initially because when the show first came out, I think I went out to a bar and uh, just like having people come up to me was so, it was just, it was so weird. Just constant stream of people just like, I walked in and then stayed there for like an hour and that entire time people were asking me questions like up in my face, just like, it was, it was overwhelming, that's for sure. Yeah, I imagine just putting like your question box even for this interview because I love that, you know, doing these, your people that follow you are able to ask questions ahead of time and everyone wants to know how did you know Amber was the one? I think that's like the number one question that was in the box. So I, I, it, it sounds kind of cheesy, I, I guess, but really the thing that sold me on Amber was just, uh, I, it's, it's, it was the way she made me feel. It was, it was just, I don't know. She made me feel like I was going to be loved and loved passionately. She's full of passion, love passionately and love for the rest of my life. And like, that was the one thing that like, just like sold me on her. And I was like, I've never felt that kind of passionate love ever. And it was within 10 days nonetheless. So. Yeah. So the whole process, um, how did you get started with doing love is blind? So the process, I think they reached out to me, uh, on Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram. And then I responded not thinking anything of it and just like interviewed a couple times and eventually just ended up showing up there and thinking it was still not real <laughs> the yeah. whole time. As if you were watching this show, it seemed like you were just yourself. Like, was that hard to do being in the pods? Like did the pressure of everything get to you? The pressure definitely got to me. Just like <sighs> there was one point where it felt like I had, well, I guess you guys could have, the, the viewer could have seen it, but like, I just felt like there was so much pressure on me to like make a decision about who I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. And it was just that. And then just like being emotionally vulnerable was so ridiculous to me. Cause I, it wasn't something I was used to. So that pressure on top of just like having the pressure of being it, like I felt in the moment that two people really were, like in love with me or had some sort of strong emotional connection, whatever. That's what, that's what I, I want to call it. But, um, and, and it just, the pressure of being like hurting someone, I think was probably the, <laughs> the, the scariest thing for me and the most like difficult thing for me. So. And then yeah. like being around those people afterwards all together. Yeah. Sure kind of I mean, difficult. After the pods, uh, not really. After the pods, like it wasn't difficult at all for me. I kind of was. I, I made a promise to Amber when I proposed to her. It's basically, it's like, yeah, I need you, to, or she needed me to give her a hundred percent of me, and that was the promise that I made. And it was like I was sailing all in Amber's court from then on. So it wasn't very difficult at all. I think we just get to see, you know, the drama for the viewer to keep you as interested but oh, yeah. I think everyone definitely saw that you know you and what you and amber had was real so do you feel like the whole process of like meeting someone in a pod is just a different like what did you learn about dating and finding people from only having that sort of connect like communication oh man <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make sense but it's it's kind of like normally when i was dating prior to the show and and just in my entire life it's just always been pretty physical like just just you know face-to-face -face stuff and never really never really opened up and i think that that whole situation allowed me to open up in ways that i hadn't been able to and so yeah i think i don't know man it it, it, it changed my view on dating on how i was dating and like this whole time i've been doing it wrong so yeah what was it? So you, a lot of people were wondering, like, because we saw a little bit of the pots, but not a ton. So was it really, like, how much time did you and Amber get together to know that she was the one? Or was it kind of just like, 
because you had that different kind of connection, it was easier to know. For 10 days, we had a lot of time to talk. It, it, I don't think there was never really any time between dating everybody. There was never any time where I just was not like in conversation about feelings or, or, or things. Or, I mean, even if I was joking around like this, dude, like that's, that's part of my flirtiness, I think. And then I, we would break into emotional like conversations, like about, you know, about what you, your wants and needs out of life and things like that. And, and I feel like there was so much that we had to, uh, like dissolve in our brains or, or figure out in our brains. And like the whole time you're just kind of like, it's like an interrogation, but like the whole time you're learning what other people are looking for in you and then what you're actually looking for in other people. And, and honestly, the, one of the cool things about it was you got to kind of like the going on dates and like and 15 people and long, long dates, you got the opportunity to kind of see what other people wanted and it was kind of like gave you like clarity of like, yeah, that's something I've never thought about. Like, like may maybe that is something that I actually want out of life. Like, so it was, it was kind of, it was nice. It, it kind of helped break down walls that I didn't realize I had. So. Yeah. And I love Amber was commenting in here that it was hard to get, it's like getting to open up was like pulling teeth. <laughs> yeah. I, I hide behind a, a wall of dumb jokes. So. <laughs> How would you compare the Barnett from the show to the Barnett now? And I know that was something like people were just curious, like how the show had like, I don't know if it changed you or just opened you up to new things. I don't know. Honestly, I don't feel that different besides being married. I feel like I'm pretty much the same person that I was on the show. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm a little bit, I don't have cameras in my face. But for the most part, I think I'm a, like, I wasn't very, actually, I wasn't very confident when I was on the show. I kind of not, I, I don't know. When, when I started like feeling like people were into me and like actually realizing that people were into me at all, yeah. I like, I started building a confidence, but like, I feel more confident in my day to day now than I did when I went on the show. Cause when I went on the show, I was not, I was very insecure and there were so many things that just like, I, I was in a weird place. So. Well, and I know that, you know, by now most people know that show was filmed like quite a while before we got to see it. So did you ever expect like it to be such a big show? No, no. When I, yeah, I almost like, it took so long to come out. I think both me and Amber were like, thinking it wasn't even going to come out. So <laughs> we're kind of like prepared ourselves to just like be married and not be on TV. And we're, we we're okay with that. You left the show. Did you guys just start a life together? It was, it was, yeah, I mean, we did. We moved in together right off the bat. Uh, moved into my house in up north of, of Atlanta. And then, yeah, I mean, we lived together. We spent every day together since really except for like when you know she was on vacation or i was on vacation doing her own thing but for the most part like every day all day um yeah uh, the only thing that was kind of different was like we didn't really get to go on our own dates like alone prior to or like when we were filming so it was kind of nice to actually just like go through the dating phase even though we were married so it was kind of i mean it was unique and unique experience for sure so people that were watching the show and i got a lot of comments that a lot of people related to you guys as even a lot of them were saying like you guys were like the fun couple or the real couple like what do you think it was about your relationship that made it work so easily together oh uh i, I don't know it feels like an anomaly like it, it shouldn't work necessarily but it does i we're both very like I don't know, laid back and intense at the same time. I think that kind of explains how we both are. And as long as we're on the same page, I think we're like, things go really well. So I think, I think we found that, that little, that little, little <laughs> gap where everything works out perfect. Or, so. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Like how many people wrote in like wanting relationship advice from you. And it's like, you went on the show as a single guy and now everyone's watching your married journey asking you like how do you do it i think it it's I, I don't i don't know how to give dating advice that's one thing yeah. like 
I'm like, I'm not, I don't know how to make it work. I mean, we're still, we're still a married couple. We're still real people. So we still, you know, argue and we do normal couple things. Like, it's not like we're perfect or anything. So my advice is just, you know, after marriage is be forgiving, like forgive each other, you know, don't, don't hold on to little things because it's, it's not worth, it's not worth the pain of that. And then dating, be open. Don't be afraid to tell somebody what you want, because if you're, if you're afraid to tell them what you want, then you're never going to, you know, get what you want. Right. So if they don't know. Yeah. So. No, I think that's great. I just know you had a lot of um, people asking you, which is kind of cool. And you have people like all over the world that are in this chat or following you. Um, what has that been like to connect with people just all over? <laughs> It, when the show came out, it was like a constant stream of just messages in my inbox and things like that. And it was just like kind of overwhelming. I, did, I, I respond to, I rarely respond to DMs or anything like that just because it's overwhelming. I mean, even, even comments on my pictures and stuff, it's just, it's just, I don't have time to go through <laughs> and read everybody's comments. So, <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, I, I think, I think it's overwhelming. It's, it's, it's a very, weird uh i would say sublime feeling like having people care about what you do on a daily basis or seem to care or have have some sort of like interest in your life that you know you didn't expect so i mean before the before the show came out i didn't post anything on instagram i didn't i didn't have a social media presence or anything like that so it's kind of it's almost felt like a, a a second job trying to make people happy by posting certain things about my relationship and stuff so yeah no for sure people are super just invested from the show like what were some of your favorite memories that maybe we didn't get to see oh man one of my i don't think it's a favorite memory but so when amber went on the show like she had a hurt foot right she hurt her foot at work and uh when when we there's one scene where we filmed us learning how to dance or taking dance lessons and like trying cake. It's like all, all inclusive. And, uh, one of the, like she's her, she hurt her foot again while we were dancing. And so I like picked her up and carried her outside cause we we're both hot from dancing and stuff. And I was like, let's cool off. It was like October or November. So it was cool outside. And, uh, and I missed a step while I was carrying her outside and I dropped her. <laughs> And they filmed the whole thing. I'm like, why didn't they film this goofy, like, uncoordinated person falling and, and dropping his, well, his fiance at the time? <laughs> so, like, but it was, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of endearing too because it was like, I don't know, like, I did everything I could not to drop her. So I was like, at least I care. Like, I, I know that I love this person because <laughs> I'm like doing everything, like putting my body on the line to try to prevent from dropping her. So. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. And there we are. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. I just this is the way. All she wants to do is tell the dancing story. And I are you guys like, gonna reenact it for us? No. <laughs> that's like the perfect analogy. We're always almost so romantic and then it always ends up being <laughs> a shit show. I love, I love that. that. No, I think that's awesome. But this is, I think, why people are relating to you. Like, I know I was telling Barnett, he had so many questions of, like, wanting advice. What, it, like, just, they're so interested in your lives, but you guys are just open and real. And I think that's exciting to see on TV. Oh, we're definitely, <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes we're a little too open. Yeah, maybe. I think you that's know? relatable, though. Like, that's what your followers want to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you have, like, in terms of, like, what do you hope to see in season two? Because I've seen so many like, things that season two is coming for the show, for Love is Blind. Honestly, I kind of hope they, like, just, like, from a technical perspective, I hope they kind of cross over what they did on uh, The Circle with Love is Blind, because I really would have loved having some games and stuff in there. <laughs> and, like, a little screen, like a touch screen, like an interactive screen where we could... Well, for the boring dates, we, we never needed anything else no, in our dates. So that was, so yeah, yeah. Our dates, our dates were like always like talking constantly. Honestly, I, if I'm drinking at all, I'm talking constantly anyway. So I was drinking a little bit sometimes. So, but uh, no, I, I agree. I think that would be an interesting 
idea is to put it throwing some sort of game like to help get everybody more acquainted when they're on dates and stuff like like icebreaker games and things like that so when you were in the pods i mean you just had nothing right pretty much like you're sitting there and they're sitting there and you're just talking through a wall like is that what we saw is what happened I think there were some times where, like, we got props or something. Uh, I think we'd had, like, a drawing. I, I did, like, a drawing thing with one or, like, painting. And it was just, like, it was, like, little tiny mini dates. And then there was one point where I think you could, like, like decorate, ask them to decorate your room and do this, like, full full date if you wanted to or something like that. I think they asked for ideas on, like, potential dates and stuff that you would want to do. So I'm not, I'm not romantic at heart, so. I didn't really have any great date ideas. So. You just went in with an open heart, though, right? That's what yeah. the key is. So you, like, obviously you and Amber got married, so you found love, but it seems like you guys also found some pretty good friends on the show. Oh, yeah. Um, for the most part, we love everybody that was on the show, so we, we do our best to at least keep in contact with everybody. We've been doing, like, we've been hanging out with Mark and his new girlfriend a lot, so... Like, we do Taco Tuesdays and stuff with them, so. Yeah, was it hard for you guys watching the show back with, like, things that had happened? Or were you guys pretty much an open book? Like, you knew everything. Like, when you look back at the pods or anything, was that difficult? Or were you guys just so far past that by the time? Me and Amber, initially, honestly, it was really hard watching it back. Um, a lot of the stuff, like, where we felt like... I don't know. Like we felt like things were a little different. It got shown different than we expected, I guess. So, but for the most part, I, I think that, you know, we were kind of okay with it after like a couple of weeks. It was really that first initial watch through, I think of the show. It was like, what the heck? This isn't, this isn't how it was or something like that. It didn't feel, it didn't feel the same. So, but yeah, and so you guys were doing your dating um, in the pods, but then you were living with the guys that were ultimately, like, your friends, but that was easy to do, or was that difficult? Like, people were interested in the same people, or... Because, like, we got to see you, I feel like, struggle with, like, these different women, but ultimately, like, we don't know if that was really that hard for you, like, or it was just... It was difficult, yeah, and, and I, I don't think that... I, you know, I only know my perspective and it didn't feel like there was any sort of drama between the guys. There may have been like one day where it was kind of just, I was confused as, as anything. And it was just trying to figure myself out. So it was kind of like, I didn't want to deal with what other people were going through. I wanted to do my own thing, like figure myself out. So I didn't talk to anybody. So, and I think that, you know, for the most part, I think all the guys got along. There was no, no drama between anybody, even if they like the same person. I think it was pretty much the same thing on the girls' side, at least in the pods. Well, yeah. everyone that I've talked to, because I've interviewed a few people from Love is Blind now, and they all like have nothing but great things to say about you and Amber and your relationship. So that's awesome. So going back to the Love is Blind, like the through the casting process, when you were going through it, what for people that like we were mentioning season two what do you say to those people why do you think you got selected for the show oh well, <laughs> what i was told is i they said i felt genuine which i mean it, i wasn't trying to be somebody i wasn't which is the definition of genuine but uh, i feel like it is don't don't try to show out to be someone that's extra than who you are try to be yourself as much as possible because the end goal of the show is to eventually to get married, right? So don't don't go and show up, show out, and try to be somebody that you're not, and then end up getting married and be living in a lie or something like that. Like you know, there's no point in it. Be yourself. You know, if it, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So. Yeah, I love that. And Barnett, thank you for sharing us so much about Love Is Blind. And I think ultimately we want to know what is life like now for you. Now. Oh, it feels like, like normal life, a little bit on, on crack, maybe I've never done crack, but it feels like that might be what it's like. It's like, I, I do my day to day, like I go to work every day, but I'm, I'm married now. And then also like, I get stopped on the street to take pictures. And it's like, what, what in the world? <laughs> it's like, I'm just like going to grab lunch or something. And like someone pulls over on the side of the road and yells my name. I'm like, 
I don't know that person. <laughs> so. Which also, the, I've been calling you Barnett because that's what they call you on Love is Blind, but I found it interesting that really it's Matt and you just had, they, so did they, did you know you were going to be Barnett? Like <clears throat> that you were going to go by Barnett? So I've always, I've played baseball my whole life and playing baseball, like there's a couple mats on the team. So, and you got Barnett on the back. So if someone calls out Barnett, like that's, that's, that ended up being my name. And a lot of my friends now are from baseball. So that just kind of stuck with me after that. But like people that are friends outside of that or my family, they don't call me Barnett. No one's ever really called me Barnett. I'm, I'm used to being called Matt. Um, but I respond to Barnett. So it's not a big deal. Kinda, I kind of embraced it for, for a little while. So <laughs> I'm I'm okay, and then and then it's kind of funny when you have people like that call you Barrett or I got Bernard or <laughs> Barney, and it's like random stuff like that. I'm like that's not my name, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, I also love that um, you and Amber are still together. I need to like clear that up because that was the other question, and I'm like, if you guys look at their social media, even. You can see Matt and Amber are happily married. <laughs> I uh, we're do together. that all the time. Yeah. Well, the thing that kind of like is, I, I don't know, that there's so much negativity on the internet at all times, but like it, it's, it's crazy. You post a picture, the day you take a picture of you and your wife, and people are like, they're still together? And so and I'm like, yeah, we're still together. Like... <laughs> Do you have anything like coming up or in the works that you are want to share about with everyone? Honestly, we we tried to do stuff. Uh, we were gonna do a like a YouTube channel. That okay? Did you guys start that or something? Because that was another thing that they're like, "What happened to their YouTube channel?" It's so. still it's still a channel. It just doesn't have any videos on it. Actually, one of the funny things we we so we tried a couple times now to and to like film videos for it and it just hasn't worked out uh we were we we did like this uh this competition where we video because amber is so good at building stuff and like she's built like desks and shelving shelving and everything around around the new apartment and uh I was, we were going to do a competition building the same dresser we had two of the same dressers they were putting in our closet and uh we, were, we started filming it and about like an hour and a half into building her her camera went black on her phone i was like did your phone just die and she was like yeah and like we didn't think anything of it and we're like oh crap it doesn't save and we like we had literally built both dressers and <laughs> had a whole video ready for 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 editing for youtube and it's just i think i think the, the gods are against us well the followers are not they're like i want to see the youtube channel <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's one thing like it's it's different trying to film for people like because it doesn't feel authentic and like sitting here talking to like a phone or a camera or something. It's just like it doesn't feel right and trying to be funny and like you know whatever. Uh, it it just doesn't doesn't work out the way that you'd think it would be. Like super interesting what you're saying because. Some people think like, oh, they, you know, people go on these shows because they are going to be um, influencers or whatever. And it's like, you guys just really went on the show and found each other. Yeah. Yeah. The, the most influencing we do is posting pictures on Instagram. So <laughs> with what we're going to do, we're going to hire a person to follow us around and just video that, and put it on the internet because we're, we're pretty ridiculous when it's just us together it's just like why don't we have a camera on us right now because this you gotta go back and do it again would you go on love is blind again what i i mean yes but i'm married um well, now, not, so. like, not to find someone new just the back of the <laughs> no i would i would 100 percent go back on um it was it was a life-changing experience I mean, even if, even if it didn't work out with me and Amber, like I, I've been changed completely from it. I'm, I'm nowhere near the same person I was before. So it, that whole experience was, yeah, it's something that's, you know, going to stick with me forever. Obviously, as long as Netflix is a thing, it'll always be a reminder. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. So. Amazing. Well, Matt, you answered so many questions and I appreciate you just 
get back to what they were asking and it being an open book for us tonight. So thank you. And I mean, if there's anything else you want to add. Um, Shout out to our YouTube channel in the future one day. Yeah, we'll keep following for that. And if people want to follow and find out like that information, I'm sure like when you guys do launch that YouTube channel, um, probably just on your Instagram. Oh yeah, I just yeah, I'd link it to whatever on Instagram. I have learned that how to do all the Instagram stuff, so <laughs> it's taken me a little while, but it's yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Matt. I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. And awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great night. See ya. See ya. Thank you for watching the Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.